Howard County, Maryland. It is one of the top suburbs of Baltimore, Maryland. In this video today, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at homes under $550,000 that you can purchase right here today. So stick around, we're getting started with it right now. What is going on everyone? It's Adam Taylor back again with another video all about living here in Maryland. Today, we are traveling to Howard County, Maryland, and we're gonna put up on the screen and show you ideally six homes that you can purchase in three separate communities under $550,000. Now, why $550,000 you may ask? Well, the median sales price in Howard County is $536,000. So I really wanted to try and get as close to that for you as possible so that you could know, hey, you know what? There are still some bargain homes left in Howard County. So let's get into the video. We're gonna start talking a little bit about Howard County and then we're gonna dive into these communities for you here right now. So why are people moving to Howard County? What's the big draw? Well, for those of you that are parents, you know what I'm gonna say, but for the rest of you, it's the school system in Howard County. Yes, you heard me right. The schools in Howard County, the public schools for that matter, are ranked number one in the entire state of Maryland. Test scores are off the charts, college entry is off the charts, all of it is great in Howard County. Second thing is Howard County is a very diverse community, meaning you're gonna see people from all walks of life, all different cultures at all different economic levels in Howard County. I mean, for example, look at Columbia, Maryland. The entire premise of Columbia when it was developed many, many years ago, it was so that different cultures at different economic levels could all come together and live in one community together. And that's exactly what has happened in Columbia, Maryland. Not to mention, it's also been named one of the safest places to live in the entire United States. And then the last thing is logistically. Howard County is sort of almost a midpoint between points north in Baltimore as well as points south towards Washington, D.C. So it's a great spot for those of you that may have to, one of you goes to work in Washington, D.C. and the other goes to work in Baltimore. It's a good midpoint to live to really Cut down on the driving time for the two of you. All right, so let's get into it. And we're gonna start in the community of Columbia. Big surprise, I know. I reference Columbia all the time because it is a fantastic spot for folks to live in. So I'm trying to mix it up, trying to give you a little flavor of different styles of living. So right now, we're gonna start with 9075 Wild Apple Court in Columbia. Now this is a single family home, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 1,540 finished square feet above ground. Now, as we look at this home here, you're gonna see they've done some updating in the home. We've got neutrally painted walls all throughout. It's like some wood flooring, maybe laminate, maybe actual hardwoods in the home and the living room. Plenty of light coming on in. Looks like they've done a little bit of a kitchen facelift here. If I'm looking at the kitchen here, this looks like they've painted the cabinets. Don't know that to be true or not, but I'm just you know looking at the pictures just like you are right now. And then stainless steel appliances, in it and you know upgraded some light fixtures. So this homeowner has taken some pride in making this home a really, really nice space. And then you can see that they've done some updating in some of the bathrooms throughout and some of the other rooms as well. The basement is finished. So there's additional living space in the basement with an updated bathroom down there as well. It looks like it's a full bath too. And then you have, as we're going through the pictures here, you've got a carport essentially to the left of the entrance, right when you come in, come to the home with a little shed attached to it. It's a little unique. I've not seen them done that way, but hey, I'll take it, okay? Anything to protect your car from the snow and the sun and stuff like that. And then they've got a nice porch off the back that's relatively low to the ground and looks to be in real, real good shape. Plenty of space out back as well for any outdoor activities that you may be doing. And then the, lastly, the floor plan, and we'll put this up on the screen, is located here. And this is one thing that I like that a lot of listing agents, including myself, are doing right now is we're putting floor plans out there to give you the exact dimensions. It'd be no different than you going into a model home and getting the floor plan from a builder, my friends. So again, this is 9075 Wild Apple Court in Columbia, Maryland. Now, one last thing. I forgot to tell you the price on this home. It's it's $500,000 even, my friends. And it's been on the market just a few days now. But again, this home I think is a great 
really good starting point to look at when looking at homes in Howard County. Now, before we look at the other homes that I have here picked out for you here today, this is your first time to our channel. Number one, I wanna welcome you. My name is Adam Taylor. I run the Living in Baltimore, Maryland channel. And on this channel, we talk about all things Maryland. We talk about living here, working here, chilling here, and most importantly, getting out and having some fun in the great state of Maryland. So if you're interested in learning more, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. So when it looks like the one right over my shoulder here, don't forget to give the little bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we put out another video just like this one. Now, as I mentioned all the time, my team and I, we're receiving phone calls, text messages, and emails from folks all over the world looking to make a move right here to Maryland, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, whether it's now or nine months, 90 days from now, whatever it might be, we'd love to help you out. But guess what? We just need one thing from you. We need you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or better yet, so the best way to get a hold of us, as I've said over and over, is to schedule your own one-on-one -on -one Zoom appointment using the link down in the description below. That way, you and I, we can hop on a Zoom call together. I'll get to know your needs, see what we can do to help you out in your home search here in Maryland. So let's get back into the video. I want to show you these other homes that I picked out for you. I think you're going to love them. All right, next on our list is a fantastic townhome in Columbia. Uh, the home we're going to look at is 11877 New Country Lane in Columbia. Now this home is listed for $499,999, a whole dollar cheaper than we just saw with the single family home. It features four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 2,080 finished square feet above ground. And quite honestly, it's a little bit bigger than the home I just showed you here, but let's get into it. Let's look at it. Number one, it is an end of group townhome. Now what this means for you is that you're only gonna have one shared wall. And with this home, you're going to have windows on three sides of the home instead of two. And visually, just looking at the neighbor's house compared to this home, it looks significantly larger. It almost looks like one and a half times the size of a house if you look at the neighbor's home. Now, as we dig into it, you've got, it's a brick town home, brick front on here, and you can see that it's neutrally painted throughout, just like the other one was. So you've got wood floors, and we can tell that these are solid wood floors going in, just the way they're laid there. And then as you get into it, generous sized living room here, they've got a deck off the back of the house, Again, a very, very good spot. And for a townhome, a lot of times it's really hard to create that quote, open concept that everybody's looking for. You see a lot of it on these TV shows online. They've done a really decent job in this home. So I don't know if this was the way it was originally constructed or there was a renovation where they took some walls down, but they've done an okay job creating that sort of open concept here. You can see the kitchen is very, very large, plenty of cabinet space in there. You've got, Looks like they actually have, if you believe it or not, they have two refrigerators sitting in the kitchen. One, you know, stainless steel refrigerator, and then there's another white one here in this other corner here. So maybe it's a large family. Maybe they just wanted to separate a refrigerator. Who knows? Oh, just reviewing the pictures with you here, but it backs up to the woods, which is really cool. Massive porch off the back of the property. And then it looks like you have a second tier deck above that. Now we're gonna go back in and look at the living room. You see the wood floors continued into the upper level of the home. I'm sorry, we're looking at the bedrooms rather. As you know, you go on in, you're gonna see that continue through. At one point in time, the bathrooms were updated here and I've got some sort of modern cabinetry in what appears to be the primary bath here. That second level deck right off of the primary suite which is great. And then you have these other bedrooms. Again, the wood floor is continuing all the way through. So those of you that have allergy issues or your children do, it's a good spot to look at right here. The other bathroom, the main bathroom, it appears in the upper level. Cabinets have been updated here at one point in time. Not so sure about the shower, but you can tell it's a full tiled shower. And then they've started doing some packing. What I love about this right here, my friends, is these people, you can tell, they live pretty neatly. All of the stuff is, look at those moving boxes. They're already labeled. And you can tell a lot when looking at pictures online of more than likely a good indication of how the house is going to be when you go into it, just by looking at how folks live. So take note of that, tuck that one in your back of your cap there, but you can really, really get a sense of how a house is gonna be, just really doing a deep dive in the pictures. Now, as we go down to the lower level into the, what appears to be the basement here, you're gonna see they've got a fireplace down there. It looks like a wood burning fireplace or a wood stove for that matter. Some nice wood like flooring. I don't know if that's gonna be tile or luxury vinyl plank is more than likely what it's probably going to be. It's not the same as what you saw upstairs. You've got an additional full bath down here with a shower, which is great. 
And they have a spot, you know, set up down here where they're using it as a bedroom as well. So again, very, very convenient. Walkout basement, washer and dryer here. And then finally the pictures of the home. Again, this is 11877. New Country Lane in Columbia, priced at $499,999. So now we're gonna jump into community number two, and we're gonna look at two homes in this particular community. And that community, my friends, is Elk Ridge, Maryland. Now, those of you that are looking to save a few dollars, you're gonna to wanna to tune in here because Elk Ridge is gonna be a little bit more affordable than some of the places in Columbia. Now, the first home that we're going to look at, it's a really cool setup here. It's a duplex in Elk Ridge. The address is 6372-A Beachfield Avenue in Elk Ridge, Maryland. Now this home, it is priced, number one, at $469,999. So you're basically getting like a 30K price break on this particular home. Three bedrooms, three and a half baths in this fantastic little duplex here. Now, when you look at the home, it's kind of a cool setup. You know, here initially on the, the initial page, you may think it's a single family home, but the only thing that gives it away is that you do see two entrance doors on both sides of the home. So again, like the last home, the Ender Group home, you're only gonna have one shared wall. This particular home is on the right side of the duplex. You've got your own driveway there. For ample parking, you put two cars there. You've got the, the garage, you know, to put an additional car in. So nice, nice space on a corner lot. Now you'll see that the lot is fenced. So those of you that have pets or small children and you want them to sort of be contained, this is a good spot to look at here. They've got a nice patio that they put in along with that deck off the back of the home. And as we continue to go down here through the pictures, you once you come on inside the home, what I love about it, there's a lot of consistency going through this home. You're gonna see the same. This looks like a laminate floor that's going all the way through the home. And they've done some updates, okay? This home was built in 2012. So it's roughly 12 years old right now, but it's been kept in really, really nice shape here. So you'll see the garage. They've snuck some pictures in of that right here initially. So they finished it off as well. But going back to the inside of the home here, kitchen, you've got granite countertops there, stainless steel appliances. Looks to be like an oak colored, gunstock colored cabinets with an island. And they've got the sink built right into the island. So you sort of put some bar stools here, you know, for like a breakfast bar, which would be really, really cool. Ceilings look high. In the home, you know, these look at least to be nine foot, possibly 10 foot ceilings in the home. And you can just look at your traditional sliding glass door window there. And you can see that there's quite a bit of space above that door to give you an indication of the ceiling height. Again, spacious pretty much throughout. They've got a nice powder room here on that level. They head down to the basement here next and wide open spaces, the same flooring all the way throughout. You've got this, you know, essentially the same wall colors as well. It doesn't look like much updating has occurred down in the basement in the lower level, but they really don't need it. You've got your utility room down there as well as the full bath or one of the, let's just make sure that's a full bath. Yes, it looks like there is a full bath in the lower level here. Now, as the pictures progress here, and we'll put, again, we're putting these up online for you here. You're gonna see the bedroom, okay? Now, the one change you're gonna see is you've got carpet in the bedrooms on the upper level. Ceiling fans in the bedrooms so far, from what I'm seeing here. And then you'll see, as you go on down, pictures of the bathrooms. So initially, it looks like we've got the main hall bath with the tub shower in there. And then you'll see as they go on in, you're gonna see the ensuite bathroom as well, which features a double bowl sink, very nicely done tiled shower, sort of looks like a little travertine look with the tile. But again, this is 6372-A Beachfield Avenue in Elk Ridge, Maryland. So we just knocked out three houses for you here in two fabulous communities. And guess what? I've got three more homes for you, one additional home in Elk Ridge and two in one of Baltimore's favorite spots, one of the best suburbs in Baltimore. So make sure you stick around to the end. You're not gonna wanna miss these particular homes. But so far, if you are finding value in this video, can I ask a quick and easy favor? Would you mind hitting the like button down below? It's the one that looks like a thumbs up just like this. By doing that, you are helping 
helping me out on my mission to make this the number one channel about finding information about life in Maryland. Okay, so I greatly appreciate your help and support in just doing that one simple thing. And please ask any questions that you may have about any of these communities that we're featuring here today or any others in Howard County because either myself, somebody on my team or one of the great Marylanders locally that's watching these videos will jump in and respond, give our perspective on things and hopefully get you the answers that you're looking for. So again, please drop those questions and comments down below. We want to create a space of engagement and really building a community here on this channel. So let's get back into it because I've got three more homes for you and you're gonna love them. All right, moving right along. I've got a very unique property for you here that I want to show you in Elkridge. So we're going to look at 7104 Daniel John Drive in Elkridge, Maryland. Now, this home, when you're visually looking at it, you think, oh, cool, what a neat looking townhome. But it's actually a condominium, believe it or not. So if you zoom in on the front picture and we look at the red doors at the front, you're going to notice one goes to the left and one sort of goes off to the right a little bit. And it's set up, believe it or not, that one building or that one unit is actually two units here. So let's dig into it and look at it here. But again, the sales price on this, $450,000, features three bedrooms, two and a half baths. I told you it's a condo. So you're gonna have a $215 a month condo fee along with a $70 a month HOA fee. So you're gonna wanna take those fees into consideration when preparing your offer. Now this home is the lowest priced home at $450,000 that I'm gonna show you here today. Could you buy homes under 450? Yes, you certainly can. And there are others available in the county, but I wanted to be realistic with what I was gonna show you here today. And I think the six homes that I'm gonna show you really give you a good idea of what you can purchase in Howard County right now. So let's dig into this condo here. Number one, you're gonna see it's very tastefully decorated. All right, they've got like a dark gray theme going on throughout the property here. And you are gonna have lots of stairs. I mean, you just saw it's essentially four stories tall here. So you're gonna have to really sort of beef up the cardio at the gym to handle a lot of these stairs. Again, if you have trouble with stairs, this property is probably not gonna be the best one for you. Now, it was built in 2011, so a lot of the stuff is sort of newer, but you're going to want to budget accordingly going forward for some stuff that could come up. All right, now you're gonna see carpet throughout here, which is a big difference that we've seen a lot of hardwoods and laminate and luxury vinyl plank flooring, but you've got carpet a lot through this particular home, a very open primary living space with the living levels here. And then you're going to duck into the kitchen. Now they actually have this like curtain set up to pro sort of separate the kitchen from the rest of the house here. But kitchen looks like it was the original kitchen from when it was originally built. You've got some bar stool seating here, stainless steel appliances, sort of like a maple colored cabinet, granite countertops all the way through, ceramic tile flooring in the kitchen, along with a nice seating area there as well. And then you've got access to the porches off the back of the property, which we'll show you here in a moment, directly from the kitchen, some nice recessed lighting, pendant lighting right over the island, looks really, really sharp. Now, right on the flip side of the kitchen, if you flip it around, they've got the fireplace there with their TV set up. So sort of a good combo room with their couch, lots of natural light coming in, I really, really like that. And it's a gas fireplace, my friends. So you're really not gonna have to worry about cleanup, et cetera, with a chimney. Now, as we move on into the bedrooms here, you're gonna see they've got this tray ceiling going on with the recessed lights in the primary bedroom. That's either like a purplish gray, it looks like to me on the walls there. Keep in mind, my friends, painting walls, if you don't like the purplish gray, it's the easiest fix. 20 to $40 for a can of paint and voila, your room is transformed. So don't let paint color come in the way of making your decision to purchase a nice home. Now, as we look at what appears to be the primary bathroom here. You've got a single bowl sink, but plenty of space to sort of spread out. Yeah, it's a single bowl sink here. And then this different shower. I mean, the shower looks massive that they have. Actually, I stand corrected, guys. You've got two separate sinks and vanities here on both sides of the shower. So what a great use of the space that they've done here and, and really um, open things up for you. So the shower is sort of like this enclosed en entryway here on the corner. And now as you go into the other bedrooms, you'll see here, they are pretty spacious as well. They've got some bunk beds set up in this particular room, closet in there. Again, carpeting throughout the home. Your other bathroom, probably the main bath for the home, 
is located here. The other thing I'm liking here are the vaulted ceilings. The ceilings look probably nine to possibly 10 foot again that we saw here previously. And then the stackable washer and dryer, small porch out back. And then you do have a garage. Yes, my friends, you have one single car garage here in this particular community. So again, this is an awesome condo. It's gonna be our cheapest price home that we're gonna show you here today at 7104 Daniel John Drive. That's a tongue twister in Elk Ridge, Maryland. So here we are, we're here at the third and final community that we're gonna talk about. And the community we're gonna look at is none other than one of the best suburbs in Baltimore. And that is Ellicott City, Maryland. You know, our team re receives phone calls and text messages and emails asking about Howard County all the time. And one place that they keep coming back to is Ellicott City. So what I'm gonna show you here are two homes. You're gonna look at a single family home first, and then we're gonna look at a town home to finish things off that you can purchase right here today for under $550,000. So the first home that we're going to look at is 2913 Rogers Avenue in Ellicott City. Now this is a rancher, features four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It is priced right now at $549,999. In addition to the home, you're also getting the largest lot that I'm gonna show you here at almost 0.51 acres. So those of you wanting some land, you want a single family home in Howard County Schools, ding, 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 ding. This is the spot you need to look at here, okay? And it's in Ellicott City. So let's get into this rancher. You're gonna see they've got white siding all the way around. They've done some updating that I think you're gonna be pleased with here once we get on into the inside. But you can see as you come in the front door, you've got a nice living room area. They've run what appears to be luxury vinyl plank or laminate flooring all the way throughout. Painted the walls a light gray, beautiful, nice white trim. This is a lot of what I see the rehabbers doing these days. Recessed lights throughout, white kitchen as we get into the kitchen. They've done a nice backsplash on there. I really like the countertop here. This looks like a quartz countertop. Very pretty, elegant, and finishes off the space pretty well here. Next, you're gonna look at bathrooms. They've gone and taken the marble all the way through this bathroom here. Wow, you're really not gonna have to worry about water on your walls after a hot and steamy shower, any water penetrating things with this particular bathroom here. Now, if we look at some of the bedroom pictures here, and unfortunately, with the pictures that I'm looking at online and you are probably as well here, they're not labeled. And that's, guys, that's my pet peeve. Like, tell me what I'm looking at so that I can, you know, articulate it to you all. And I'm sure you probably feel the same frustration when looking at homes online. But as you look on through here, you're gonna see some closet space. I believe this appears to be a bedroom in this first set of photos that I'm looking at. You've got another bathroom here with the same finishings on it. This other picture, as we, I'm essentially just scrolling down here online. Looks like the basement, and this might be some sort of like one of those epoxy garage flooring coatings that they may have put down in this lower level here. And we can see that it's the lower level by the smaller windows that you're seeing. And then they sort of change the flooring up as it transitions into another area of the basement. But nevertheless, finished space that you can utilize in the basement along with another half bath in that lower level. You can see that it is a wooded lot with, again, plenty of space for parking. We've got a big porch off the back of the property and a nice front yard as well. So again, my friends, this is 2913 Rogers Avenue located in Ellicott City, Maryland and priced at $549,999. So here we are at our sixth and final home. Again, this home is in Ellicott City and I picked out a really nice townhome for you all to check out here today. So the townhome we're gonna look at is 7724 Blueberry Hill Lane in Ellicott City. Now this home is priced at $475,000. So it's sort of on the lower end of the homes that we've spoken of here today. Features four bedrooms and three and a half baths. So let's get into this home because this is a fantastic townhome in Woodland Village and there's some additional amenities you're going to want to see at the end of this that you're going to get access to. So as we look at the home, it is an interior townhome, so you do have two shared walls in this particular spot. The kitchen looks like they've done some updating in here and painted the cabinets. You've got your stainless steel appliances in here. It opens on up into the dining room as well as the living room area here on the first floor. Now you've got on the bedroom level here, you've got a primary bedroom with a vaulted ceiling 
right here. It looks really, really nice. And you've got wood flooring continuing in there. You've got a family room. This is the blue room that you're seeing here with a gas fireplace and they've got custom built in shelving on the sides of the fireplace, along with a massive spot for their television. As we continue to look down and go, go on through this, they've got a hot tub and a screened in porch as a part of the property as well. A nice foyer entrance here. So you've got, you can see the wood on the stairs going on up. It just flows together. And that is a beautiful thing, my friends. Some additional pictures of the kitchen here. It does look like, check this out, this range that you're seeing here in the kitchen. The agent makes a note that these, it's a dual oven range with an air fryer and a convection oven. Fancy. So I love the level of detail that this agent has put into displaying this their client's property here. Some reverse pictures of the living space on the main level here. Now, as we get into some of the other pictures, here are some additional photos of the primary bedroom and the ensuite. You're gonna see a separate tub and shower. You typically don't see that in a primary bath. It's usually essentially just a shower and maybe like a soaking tub sort of thing, but not a, a traditional tub here. And they do have that in this particular home. Now, as we look, we've got pictures of the additional bedrooms here. Again, you're, you're gonna see that wood flooring is consistent pretty much all the way through the home and they just have area rugs down in the bedrooms. Bedroom number three here, looks like they have it set up as a home office with some nice built-in shelving. So those of you that work at home, you've already got your desk and your office picked out if this spot fits your needs for that. An updated hall bath where they don't have the typical tub in here. You just have a shower in here, but that looks really, really good with the tile that they've selected. And then we've got the some additional pictures of the family room that is blue. Again, a can of paint, my friends. It's the cheapest home improvement you'll probably ever make. If blue is not your thing, you can certainly change it. And then they've got cool use of the space. They've got the laundry right in that lower level as well right behind one of those bifold doors. And then lastly, you're gonna see the fourth and final bedroom here. Now this is a little bit different because it's located in the lower level of the home or the basement, but they can get away with calling this a bedroom because you have two full size windows that are above ground with good way to get out of the home. If there's an emergency, good egress windows here, but you can fit a nice size bed in there. And then there's a full bath in the lower level as well. Again, we're gonna go back to the hot tub pictures here and then finish it off with pictures of the wood deck that they have off the back of the home. And then lastly, you'll get to see a good shot of the back of the home with the screened in porch. Now the bonuses that I told you about for living in Woodland Village is you get access to the swim club right in the community. And you are gonna have to pay an HOA fee. Stuff doesn't come for free, my friends. Okay, it's $90 a month to live in there, but no separate condo fee. You do have access to the community swimming pool, as well as their tennis courts and some of their other facilities. And then we finish it off with a good shot of the floor plan of this particular home. Again, this is 7724 Blueberry Hill Lane in Ellicott City, Maryland, in the community of Woodland Village, listed right now for $475,000. Well, there you go. Those are six incredible homes across three fantastic communities in Howard County, Maryland. Now, if a move to Maryland is in your future and you're looking for a spot, just like I showed you today, guess what? My team and I, we'd love to help you out in your transition, but we just need one thing from you. We need you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or better yet, schedule that one-on-one -on -one Zoom appointment using that link down in the description below. Again, that way we can hop online, meet face-to-face, -face, and really find out and come up with a plan to fit your needs for purchasing an incredible home here in the state of Maryland. With that said, my friends, take a look at this next video before you go, because I think this is your next step in learning more about life here in Maryland. Until the next video, my friends, remember my team and I have your back from Baltimore down the bay all the way to the beaches in Ocean City, Maryland. We got you covered. You take care, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. See you now.